Hi, and welcome to another rig making video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I make a one up, one down clipped rig. This rig is going to be a light rig. Um, I'm using small hooks and light snood. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute anyway. It doesn't look so light with a breaking strain, but it is in diameter. So let's go through what we need for this rig. So for your rig body, I'm using Skyline, Synetic Skyline. This is 32 and a half kilo. And for that huge breaking strain, it's only 0 0.50 in diameter. I use this also for my shop leader and I can cast 170s off the ground. And I've never had a snap off on this line. Um, if I do get a snap off, it tends to be on the braid where I've had a bit of abrasion on it. So this is tremendous line, uh, I think for the for the breaking strain to diameter, it can't be beaten. And then for the hook snoods, again, I'm using Skyline and I'm using the 11.8 kilo. And then this is only 0 0.28 in diameter. Now, if you look at other lines, the same diameter is probably gonna only be about seven kilo. So this is nearly five kilo stronger. So um, it's very thin for its breaking strain. So it's gonna get used as your hook snoods. And then let's get down to the components we need. We've got two hooks. These are Sakuma Mantas, size fours. We've got two um, bait clips there with their sleeves. Six blue beads. Can be any color, I just got blue. I've got two swivels that are encapsulated on these molded beads. I've got a hanging snap and I've got a hanging snap on a swivel. I've got green and yellow beads there. They're going to be for, for tractors on the bottom snood. I've got sequins for worm stops and also float stops to stop the sequins. So let's get to building this rig. So I've cut a length of the Skyline 32 and a half kilo, and I've cut it to the length of this table, which is 1.2 meters long. So I'm then gonna fold this length in half to find the center. And then I'm gonna pinch the center. Just so there's a little crease on the line, so I know where the center is. Once that's done, first thing I'm gonna do is put on a bait clip. So I've gone, if I'm holding this in front of me, this is how I'm working. There's the center, there's the crease. So I've gone to the right hand side and I'm gonna slide the rubber onto the line like so, if I can get it through the hole, there we go. So I'm going to slide that rubber onto the line with the sleeve and then I'm going to put slide the rubber over the wire of the bait clip and I'm basically on this side I am pushing up the bait clip so it's let me just try and get this on there we go now the key to this is then to tuck this bottom bit up and over. Get that up and over that little hook on the bottom of the bait clip. So there we have it. So then you have a nice bait clip there. That slide down a little bit to the bottom. Like so. There we are. Lovely. So now if I slide that up to the middle to the crease, let me find it again. There. We've got the Crease there, we've got the little hook part there. So I'm gonna to go to the left hand side of this center line. I'm gonna slide a blue bead on. And then I'm gonna put my next bait clip. And again, the thin, the narrow end, not the clip end, is gonna go on towards the center. So these bait clips are the opposite way around. Again, we slide this rubber on. Clip it over into the little hook, like so, there. 
slide that down to the middle. So what we do, we get that bead in the middle, so we know it's in the middle. And we slide these bait clips down, so they're there like that. Now, that bead in the middle is purely to stop these two clips tangling on each other. That just gives a smoother transition. Now from that center where the bead is, I'm gonna go four inches there. I'm gonna do a figure of eight knot on the line. Figure of eight knot is so much better than a crimp because it's pretty much a standard strength. That's 80% on that line. Whereas a crimp, you crimp it too hard, it could reduce your line to 50% or even less. So there we go, figure eight knot. So on the left hand side of this center line again, I, before I do a figure eight knot, I'm gonna slide down a blue bead again. So that's how the center will look. That blue bead is gonna protect the knot, the figure eight knot that I'm just about to do from this paint clip. So again, I'm gonna go about four inches there, do a figure eight knot. There we have it. So there we are, figure eight knots where my finger are, and that's your center. So the top end of your rig is gonna be the end with the blue bead above the bait clip. And this is gonna be your bottom end of the rig. So let's go down to the bottom here. There's the end of my line. We're gonna come up about six, seven inches say six inches there and then I'm going to do a figure of eight knot there's your figure of eight knot we then slide on a blue bead then one of the swivels that are encapsulated in these loomy beads and then another blue bead there and then a figure of eight knot and these figure eight knots are acting like crimps. Now I'm putting the blue beads on these because the hole in the, the swivel is a little bit too big um, and it will possibly slide over. So I'm just manipulating this figure of eight knot down as close as I can. There we go. So that's the bottom section done. So now this is the bottom section, we might as well finish this off. And on the bottom, we're gonna put the hanging snap with the swivel. So we've at least got a little bit of anti-tangle with that swivel at the bottom. I'm gonna do a, tie this on with a grinner knot. Do four turns on this. Lift it a little bit tight, but there we go, we've got it. That focus, there we go. There's a knot there. So that's the bottom end done. We just cut that off nice and tidy. So we've got the bottom end. If you swivel for your snood. So we go right to the top. We basically do the same again. We come down about six inches from the top. There's the top of the line there. So we're gonna to go to about there. Do a figure of eight knot. There. And we put a blue bead on. We put the swivel. Put another blue bead. And another figure of eight knot. Again, just manipulate it down. It'll work it out, you just push one of the loops. There we go, that's in place there. And then on the top of the rig, we are gonna do just the hanging snap. Now, I only do a hanging snap at the top because I don't want that top hook snood catching on too much. If there's another swivel here, sometimes a hook point goes through the swivel and you've got a tangled snood without even knowing it. 
Then what we've got, top of the rig, you've got your hanging snap, a little bit below that. Bit figure eight knot, beads, another figure eight knot, down to the middle, another figure eight knot there with my, f my hand, there, and you've got your bait clips there, and that's the same other end with the hanging snap. So now we need the hook snood, so I'm going to cut two lengths of the 11 kilo to probably, I don't know, 40 centimetres. Something like that. I'm going to get cut. Gives me plenty to work with. Right, you can tie these onto your swivels. The green or not. There we are. This will be the top one going on. The full turn will be enough. One, two, three, four. In there, done. So then I'm going to cut that off. And tie the other hook snoot. As one of the beads have just flown off the table. And again, oh, not the camera. This can be uh, done again with a four turn. Clear knot. Two. Three. Four. And done. So then we know the bottom one is the one with the swivel hanging snap. So let's go to the top one. Go to the top snood. First thing we do. We slide on one of the float stops. I'm going to go for yellow. It's going to match the beads that I will put on the bottom snood. And then I'm going to put a green sequin into that. And I need to measure where the hook is going to be tied. So I'm going to hold the, the snood and the line together. Now I know I've got a bit of give in the centre because I've left some. So what I'm going to do is hold the two lines together and then hold the snood where the knot is. So I'm holding the snood level with the knot on the rig body, the figure of eight knot that's above your bait clip. So then I'm going to keep hold of that. I can cut a little bit of this excess off. slide this hook on there like so and I can tie that on again with a grinner knot don't ever use a blood knot blood knots are so weak That one done. Done. Now that I know will clip down lovely into that bait clip there. Done. That's all clipped nicely. Just going to trim that tag end off. And all we need to do now is the bottom snood. It's already tied on. So what we need to do with this one is firstly. Slide on a stop, a float stop. So there's your float stop onto that. Now on this one, because this is going to be sitting on the bottom, I'm just going to put some attractors. So I'm going to slide on a sequin at the top. Then I'm going to go yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green. These are small beads, yellow, green. Green, yellow, 
green, and then last sequin. Move on that. And just slide them right out of the hook snug because I know it's too long again. And then again, like we did with the first one, hold the rig body and the snood tight, and then hold that hook snood where level with where the figure of eight knot is, but below your bottom bait clip. Then I can cut off the excess there. And then there's the hook. I'm still holding that by the end. Slide that on like so. Tie it. The four turn grinner again. One, two, three, four. Now trim that end off. And there we have it. That is one up, one down, clip rig. So let me just show you. Let's clear everything off here. So, right, so let's go from top. Got a hanging snap. There you got that. Swivel encapsulated there. You got your hook snood there, clipped onto the top bait clip. And then what we can do is hook the bottom bait clip on. Again. That is tight. We can just slip these beads down, down to where your worm would be. And there we have it. Both, both hooks clipped up. Tangle free. There's your attractors on the bottom. And there we have it. And there's your clip to your lead. So once that unclips, that one, we see it on the bottom nicely with the tractors. And then this one will be hanging with your worm somewhere there. I hope this helps. Um, it's always good to make your own rigs. And please subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Thanks.